Hi, this is Rodney Berger. I am the CIO, which means consistently inspiring others. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your My Ether Wallet account, your private key and your public address. All right, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is you want to go on your desktop. This is a PC that I am on, and the setup is pretty much the same on a Mac as well. So what you want to do is you want to right click on your desktop. We're going to create a new folder. And we're just going to call this uh, My Coin Universe. All right, but you can call it whatever you want. My Personal File, My File. This is just an example. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, so we create a folder, which is the first thing. You're going to double click on that. Once we create the folder, you're going to double click on it. And then inside of the folder, you'll see at the top here, My Coin Universe. You're going to right click here. And then we're going to uh, create another folder. And the reason we're going to create another folder, this is for if, you have, if you're doing this for multiple people, uh, like your family members, your spouse, your adult children, however. So we're going to call this folder Rodney Info. Okay. And then in this folder, I'm going to right click and we're going to create a text file. You can use any word processing program that you want uh, word uh, word pad text I'm going to use text because it's easier for me all right so we're going to call this um, Rodney Berger info all right I want to open this up we're going to have it ready to go I want to put on here um, today's date Meaning you could actually put in the date here. I'm not going to type in the date because it's going to be a different day when you guys watch this video. How about that? So put in today's date and then put my Ether Wallet uh, info. First thing you want to do is you want to create a password. You're going to need a password for your um, to create the private key. And this is an encrypted password. And it's the only way you could be ever be able to ever unlock the file that's created when you put the password in, so you can make sure you do not lose this information. So, um, I'm going to create a password here. All right, so I always like to create my passwords in a fun manner. So be creative. Uh, I have to be nine characters minimum and or more. All right. So so you probably can read what that says. I got my eyes on gold money. How about that? All right. So let's got some different mixture of characters, uppercase, lowercase, uh, number, uh, special uh, characters like the dollar sign, exclamation point. So make sure you create a good secure password because this is going to be your uh, wallet address information so um so you're going to save that all right so we're going to put here i'm going to type in some more information here so you want to do the same thing in your file the first thing we're going to be creating is a private key and then it's going to be your public wallet address would be the second thing all right so save that information Okay, so now I'm going to go to Chrome. You can either use Chrome or Firefox for this uh, task. I'm going to use Chrome today. So make sure you have the latest version. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to myetherwallet.com. And if this is your first time on this website, uh, you're going to get a bunch of pop-ups here for you to understand what you're doing. Uh, you can just skip through that or take some time to read through it, educate yourself on what it is that you're creating. All right. So I'm going to wait for that to come up. Okay, so you can cancel this or you can under read through it and get a better understanding. Um, let me just do that real quick.
You can learn about the blockchain. You already know what it is. If you don't, you can still back, go back and learn it. Uh, talks about how to protect your funds. then you can close that when you're done okay so here is the place to where you're going to put your password that we just created on the file so i'm going to highlight it because i don't want to have to type all that so i'm going to type i'm going to click on edit and copy all right and i'm going to go here right click and i'm going to paste that information and then i'm going to create you can look at if you want to see what it looks click on the eyeball and it'll show you your password hide it again click on the eyeball to see it if you make sure you got it in right all right then you're going to create a new wallet click on that first thing you want to do is download the key store file this is also known as either the utc file or the json file okay As you can see, it's downloading the encrypted file. And it is done. So what we are going to do, this is important because if you do this many times, it's going to create multiple files like this. And you don't want to get them confused. So what we're going to do is we're going to show in the folder. Click on the show in the folder option. Uh, you're going to see the file is right here so I'm going to right click now take some time to understand what we're doing we're going to cut this file now it's not deleting it it's putting it on your clipboard so we're going to click on cut so that it disappears from here and then what we're going to do is go back to our desktop and go to uh, my coin universe folder under Rodney's info, then we're gonna hit paste. All right, so that folder is no longer in your download folder, and I'll show you. See, it's gone. So, all right, so now that we did that, now you click on I understand. Don't lose it, do not, it cannot be recovered, that password, and don't lose that file. So now that we have it in a safe place, we're going to do I understand and continue. Now, this is your private key. You need this private key. I'm going to right click, copy. I'm going to highlight, right click, and copy. I'm going to go back into my, my file, Rodney Burger Info, and put a space after that. And I'm going to put a click on paste and double check your information always oh, double check ff7 ff7 uh 258.38b okay so we're going to save it i'm going to click back here now that we're here print a paper wallet click on that and you can print this out. Waiting to see where that's coming up there. Hang on a sec. Oh, okay. Now you can print that or you can save it as a PDF. So I'm going to select save as a PDF. Now you may have to have a drop down option to bring that up. Mine was set because that's what I've used before. So. So I'm going to go back to my desktop, my coin universe, Rodney's info, and I'm going to call it my wallet info. Make sure that's in your folder. As you can see that it's up here, my coin universe, Rodney's info. And I'll put RB here. Then we're going to save that file. And if you want to see what that's going to look like, we're going to go into our folder. Okay, so you see that the file is here. 
All right. So now that we're going to go back here, we're going to save your address. We're going to put in the private key option. Since the private key is still on my clipboard, I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to unlock. And then it's going to show you what your address is. You want to highlight your address. Okay, we're going to copy. Put a space there, right click and paste, and that is your public wallet address. All right, this is the information that you're going to put in uh, your carebars.com, your profile. This is the address you're going to put in your profile. Okay, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you create your My Ether wallet. I hope you enjoyed this training. Now what we're going to do is make sure you save this information, My Coin Universe, this folder. Make sure you back that up onto more than one flash drive or the special secure wallets that are out there. But make sure you put that in more than one location and don't keep it on your computer. Okay. I hope you're having a blessed day and take care.